Welcome Brainers! In this video, we will demonstrate how to install macOS on VMware. Step 1. Download the required files. Let's begin with VMware Workstation Player. I've provided all the download links in the video description. Next, you'll need to download Unlocker. Always check if Unlocker supports the version of VMware Workstation Player you've downloaded. The last file you need to download is the macOS ISO. You can obtain it from this website, or if the version you're looking for is not available here, you can choose to get the ISO from other websites as well. Regardless of where you download the ISO, the steps I'm going to show should work perfectly fine. Please take note that this file is quite large. You can download it using these direct links, however if your internet connection is slower, you might want to consider using the torrent file instead. On this screen, please remember to deselect all files and only select the ISO file that you need. Step 2. Install VMware Workstation Player. Here we have all three files that we downloaded in the last step. Please double-click the VMware installer and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. After installation, please do not launch VMware Workstation Player, instead, proceed with the unlocker process. Extract the contents of the unlocker zip file. Get into the operating system folder, in our case, Windows. Double-click on the unlock file. Once the execution is complete, you can close this window. Now, we're all set to launch VMware Workstation Player. Step 3. Create a VM and install macOS. Click on Create a new virtual machine. Tap on Browse and select the ISO file we downloaded earlier. In the guest operating system, choose macOS. And in the version, select the appropriate version based on your ISO. Optionally, you can change the location where you want to place the VM files. Your virtual machine is ready, let's go ahead and launch it. Please wait until you reach this screen. Select the language and proceed. First, we need to format the virtual disk, so go to Disk Utility. Identify the VMware virtual hard drive based on its size. Click on Erase. Please note that this is just a virtual hard drive, and hence this action will not delete any data on your host PC. Close Disk Utility and select Install Mac OS. Choose the disk that you just formatted and click Continue. The installation process will take some time, so let's take a short break and come back. After returning, please follow the on-screen instructions to complete the remaining setup process. Great! We're finally in macOS, and we can access all the applications just like on a regular Mac. For improved performance and full screen capabilities, you need to install VMware tools. Please feel free to follow the video link in the description for the same.
I hope this helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.